If you had the ability to instantly give any person an orgasm, simply by pointing your hand at them like a finger gun and saying, pew, how would you wield this power? Assuming all the orgasm Hever needs to do is see and hear the finger guns, I'm getting on TV. Oh hey, local TV station, your viewers are about to have an awesome day. It starts small, but quickly spreads to regional and then national affiliates as the footage is linked to a spike in ER visits from elderly citizens with heart conditions. By the end of the week, my first fingerbang is the highest viewed video on Pornhub. CNN runs a story warning of the danger of such power and questions whether I am a friend or foe. I spent some time on the run from the same scientists that sought E.T. for a time back in the 80s. I'm careful with my power now, but now and again I have to fingerbang someone into submission just to escape. My exile from the real world is made worse when trolls across the internet use my first newscast as a new kind of rickroll. Ublock Origin creates a specialized widget that censors my Figner blasting so that offices and schools can return to some kind of normalcy. A public health crisis is declared. Desperate for peace, I fingerblast myself. The euphoria lasts for 30 minutes. I'd pull a Tobey Maguire on a crowded street edit. This is the comment? This is the fucking comment? Oh lord. With total irresponsibility. Clarification. Do I need to be physically near the person or are we working with death note rules, and I can do so just by seeing someone on TV? Because if it's the latter, the next Olympics is gonna be hilariously entertaining. Point to myself. My new greeting is the double finger gun and a pew pew pew. Hey dad, long time no see. Rob a bank and immediately neutralize the guards and tellers. Pew pew pew. I'm gonna make it fun to go to the opera again. So anyways, I start blasting. The coronavirus pandemic would be the least of the world's concerns. I would say hands up or have an orgasm. They'd be confused and I'd repeat the line again and if they didn't put their hands up I'd give them an orgasm. Are you some kind of nutter? Not as much as you're about to be. Pew. When I'm in a heated confrontation with someone, I'll just use it and I'll instantly be at an advantage. Either that or I'll be forced to use it if I struggle in the bedroom. Anytime a cop pulls me over, of course. Sir, do you know why I pulled you over? Um no sir, not at all, points well you. Dot uh. Dot mmm. I don't either, you can go now, quickly runs to his car. The cop will shoot you for making a finger gun. I guess he'll be emptying two loads at the same time then. I'd go to as many sporting events as possible, bet on the underdog and cause the other team to lose at ever possible chance of scoring. I would go to every political rally I could laughing face. I would dress as my favorite hero. Orgasmo and make a makeshift arm cannon similar to Mega Man and call it the Orgasmo Ray. Edit thank you for my very first gold. Edit spelling. Look out Walmart. I'd use it to condition people to be aroused by inanimate objects. Every time my enemy went to the fridge, pew pew. Guy cuts me off in traffic and now every time a car honks he gets turned on. Refrigerator? Orgasm. Cut off in traffic? Coming. Driving past a cemetery? Go for it. Hotel? Trivago. I'd probably make a YouTube video that's just a quick 15 seconds of me pointing right at the camera and letting out a rapid fire pew 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 and then post the video Rick Roll style so that anyone thinking they're going to open up a relevant link is treated to an wholly unexpected and more than likely inconvenient orgasm. Once that catches on, my work is done, although I'll still use my powers for good, and I'm going to enjoy seeing people on trains, in meetings, at events, and wherever on their phones and then suddenly sloshing their shorts because of my jizz roll video. As the years go by, the jizz roll will become more and more ubiquitous in society and I'm sure many a folk will take the necessary precautions to splat-proof their nether garments with rubber undies or quick-release valves. I mean, surely it won't just be the boys constantly creaming their cargoes. Surely the ladies will be super soaking their sliz snugglers and need to wear some manner of sex grade diaper or possibly just go full skirt and let the drips drops where they may. 
Yes, the world at large will be hot and humid with the musk of human sexual excretion. Unlike the rickroll, the jizz roll will turn into something you want to sit though each and every time and the negative stigma of openly slinging goo or gushing drool will be gone. Thanks to me, the world will be in a near constant state of blissful relief and post-nut clarity. I suspect the world will make huge strides in technological advancements, as well as find unity among races and religions. Civil strife will be a thing of the past when you watch a jizz roll and let your stuff blast. Oh sure, even in my old age, people will want my celebrity for personal hire. Some may call them masochists, but I see these elites rich enough to afford an in-person pewing as just regular folk trying to ascend to a sexual nirvana. I'd pin them against the wall, or they would do so themselves as their legs won't be doing them much good for much long, as I relentlessly pew them into oblivion. I'd pew them stupid if that's what they want. I'd pew them until their genitals are tender and throbbing from overuse. Bright red like a piece of steel hammered hot by a master blacksmith. As they sit. There, blathering incoherently, giggling and lost on a different plane of conscious existence, I'll shoot him one more pew for the road. If they die they die. That's what I was hired for and that's the power I've been blessed with. I would keep the power a secret until I saw my wife have an exceptionally hard day. I'd make her dinner, something new, and on her first bite pew pew. Then, after dinner I'd run her a bath and use those relaxing eye cover things that girls like. Play some soft music, pew pew. Then I'd give her a massage. Feet first, pew pew. Then her shoulders, pew pew. Then after that offer her a glass of wine and after we've inevitably drank half a bottle each, we'd move to the bedroom and once she lays down I'd give her a double pew pew. At that point she'd be relaxed, exhausted, and pass out. Then I could finally make some progress in Bioshock on the switch. Shoot myself in the mirror.